Hello everyone and welcome back to another 1.20 Let's Play episode. In the last episode, we built an automatic bamboo and sugarcane farm. And in today's episode, we're going to be building an enchantment setup cave. So if you are excited for that, then be sure to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and jump right in. It's a bit of a rainy start to today's episode, but I want to finally wax my signs. I've been periodically gathering wax. So, oh wow, we have 54 honeycomb. And I think we can just do this. Okay, perfect to all of the signs. We're also going to go on a bit of a journey at the beginning of today's episode. So I want to equip the diamond armor. But before we go on that trip, I do want to make a small edit to the nether portal. I was making my little screenshot for episode five when I realized how empty this hill is right there. So I think that I just want to move these pink tulips over to that hill. And maybe we can sprinkle in some of the daisies too. We actually already have some pink tulips already up here, but I just want to pretty much fill up this whole hill in flowers. I think that flowers are a great way to add interest to some of the harder to decorate areas of your base. So I want to have lots of flowery little hills. And I think that looks so much better. Wow, that definitely made a difference. Maybe I should add some bushes there too. Might as well do it now since we are editing this hill. I think that I will honestly only add oak leaves since we already have those pink tulips. I don't want too much color and I really want the tulips to be able to shine up there and I think that if we were to add a bunch of pink leaves everywhere then it would kind of drown out the tulips oh I think that we have ourselves a zombie piglin hello zombie piglin honestly I think that zombie piglins are so cute oh it looks like we have a little cave up here it doesn't seem to be very expansive oh there's a skelly no leave me alone please leave me alone I don't know how I didn't think to add bushes before how did I just forget bushes? I think that we have definitely improved this nether portal. I'm happy that we made all those changes. Now for today's project, we are going to actually need to go back to that abandoned mine shaft that we went to in last episode. There is a geode over there that I would like to check out. And unfortunately we don't have silk touch. So I will only be able to collect the block of amethyst, the calcite and the smooth basalt, but eventually I would like to collect those amethyst clusters. I've been really enjoying going on these little excursions together at the beginning of every episode. Again, this is the exploration update, so it only makes sense, but I think I would like to kind of continue that throughout this series, just going on a small little trips together. So, um, I honestly don't remember where this geode is. I know that we need to look out for an abandoned mine shaft too. Oh, here's one here. Oh, and there's a geode. We're literally right on top of it. Is this the same geode or is it a different geode? I know that the geode that we saw was right beside of a cave spider spawner. So if that is this geode, we need to be careful. Oh, look at all the little fish. They're so cute. This is such a pretty area. Oh, maybe we are on the other side of the geode. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, and here's the geode. Whoa, that's so cool. The mine shaft cuts right through the geode. That's so cool. I've never seen that before. Wow. Well, I hate to tear up this geode, but that is literally why I came here is to tear it up and gather some of its materials. So we just need a bit of smooth basalt, some calcite, and then some block of amethyst. This is honestly, so cool and with the little waterfalls and the mine shaft that cuts right through this lush cave yeah this is seriously such a cool little place Ooh! oh there's a zombie oh <gasps> wait oh my gosh i think i just saw a spotter that is so cool is it a skeleton spotter i don't know but i hear a lot of skeletons we're gonna have to be really careful Wait, this is so cool. Oh, ah! okay, wait, this is chaos. There were literally so many skeletons in there. I should have tried to place on a torch, but I panicked. If you can't tell, just a wee little panic. Okay, so we light it up and then we run, right? Oh, oh my gosh, there's literally so many. Why are there so many? What is happening? I just need to go there and light it up. It's not helping me just like being scared. Okay. Let's light it up real fast and then we can take care of the skeletons. 
Okay, I literally did not hit a single one. It's going well. Okay, we did it. We have ourselves a skeleton spotter. That is so cool. I'm so excited. Okay, here are the coordinates for that skeleton spotter. This is seriously the coolest find. Oh, we found a saddle, diamond horse armor, a golden apple, some gold pumpkin seeds, a music disc. Wow, I'm literally so excited. This is so cool and it's literally right by the geode. We could do some kind of like amethyst and uh, skeleton farm kind of like together a little bit. I was kind of worried that we weren't going to have a good source of experience. And since we're building an achievement setup, we kind of need that experience. But now we are going to be able to have a good source of experience, which is so exciting. Oh, there's diamonds down there. We got two diamonds. I feel like I've just gotten so lucky with finding diamonds in this world. They kind of just like come to me, you know? Well, that was fun, but we need to get back to that amethyst so we can actually gather what we came here for. Wow, that's such a cool view. I really hate to tear it all up. Oh, there is a chest right here with projectile protection four. Do I really need that? Not really, but I'll grab it. And here is another chest Ooh, with a name tag. Oh, here's another chest. I thought that we already got this one, but I guess not. And we have another name tag. Oh, I think this is another chest. If you can't tell, I keep on getting distracted. Oh, wait. That's the same chest that we were just at. Okay, never mind. Now it's actually time to get to work though. Oh, I think I found diamonds, but I also found a creeper. <gasps> diamonds here too. Whoa, this is so cool. Again, I'm just amazed at how many diamonds I've found in my world so far. It's crazy. See, there's diamonds down here. Wow, so many diamonds. We have seven diamonds and another name tag. And I think that's about going to do it for our amethyst materials. So uh, we just need to find our way out of here. How are you still alive after that? Oh, <gasps> there's a brown axolotl. That would be so cool if we could collect one. I'm going to take your little water stream, okay? But then I'm going to put you right back in it. <gasps> oh, we got him. Yay. Here is some of my exit right there there so we're getting closer and before oh there's my exit okay cool but before i leave i do want to gather just a few more glowberries uh hello before we leave i do want to gather a few more glowberries just because i'm going to use a lot for today's project and now it is time to head on home. Now to clear out the inventory, but here's just a look again at all of the goodies that we found. And then of course, we can't forget about that skeleton spawner too. Now we have 12 diamonds, that's awesome. Oh, and if you try to edit the sign, it makes this sound and it won't let you edit it because I, again, accidentally tried to open up my barrel and then clicked on the sign. That's why I wanted to wax them. So for this enchantment setup, I think that I want to, oh my gosh, why do we always have pillagers? That is so annoying. Literally leave me alone. I pretty much need to stand right there. Are they going to attack me? Hey, maybe not. Anyways, I want to put our enchantment set up in the side of this hill here. Um, You're making me uncomfortable. But do you remember that lush cave that we found in last episode with all of the glowberry vines hanging down from it? That was kind of my inspiration for this enchantment setup. So we have to do literally so much digging. And then the amethyst, where that comes in, is that I want to place little pockets of geodes almost. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but we'll kind of just figure it out along the way. So I need to dig a whole bunch. I don't want the opening to be that big. Definitely bigger than like, you know, our mine entrance over there. I want it to be at least open enough for us to be able to see a peek inside. But the entrance really won't be that big, but the inside of it will be pretty large. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to get busy just digging on my own for a little bit, because honestly, this is what I'm going to be doing for like 30 minutes, an hour. I don't know how long it's going to take. And then I will jump back in once we have more of a dugout cavern. made a 
a good bit of progress so far. I'm going to work on the outside last probably, but this is what we are looking at. I think that this is the perfect size, honestly, and we'll probably do something with the floor too. I don't think I'm just going to have it be flat, but we'll get to that in a bit. But the next thing that I want to do is figure out where I'm actually going to place the enchantment setup, and I'll probably place it in the middle, I think something like this maybe. I guess the middle of the opening and the middle of the cavern are not the same thing. All right, what do we think about this placement? Okay, I think that's the one. So, enchantment setup is here. Now I have to figure out what I want to do with the rest of the place. And I will probably get in the enchantment setup last. I don't even have any of the bookshelves or anything yet. But I know that I want to have some waterfalls coming down somewhere. Maybe I shouldn't put the water there yet. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. And then just like small little ponds, nothing crazy, honestly. We already have so many ponds in this world. I don't want like a proper pond down here. But we could do something like that and fill it in and texture it. And I think that would look super cute. And maybe we can do another one here-ish. But I think for this one, I want to try to make it split somehow. Uh, not really like that. Maybe like this? I mean, kind of. Yeah, I was thinking something like that. I don't know how it looks right now, but it could look good if we properly terraform the area. Okay, I think I like something like that better. I just moved this block down one. I don't know, we'll keep on playing around with it. But I guess that we should probably get these little geodes in that I was thinking of. Oh, we could put one in the ceiling. Wouldn't that look so cool? Let me go get my scaffolding. I've never really done anything like this before, so I don't really know what I'm doing, honestly. But maybe we can start with kind of out lighting with a bit of smooth basalt and let's get some lighting in here so that you all can see a bit better maybe we'll start with something like this and then from there we can kind of line it i guess in some calcite and then i guess we'll put some amethyst in here maybe i mean that's definitely the idea i don't think it's as spectacular as i was thinking but that's close i think that once we are able to get some amethyst clusters in here it'll start to look so much better i honestly can't tell if this looks bad but originally i was thinking about putting some geodes along the walls kind of like cropped up, not just flat to the wall or flat to the ceiling, because I feel like normal geodes in Minecraft aren't like that. They are kind of like, I don't know, oriented in a different way. But once we add amethyst clusters to this, don't you think it's going to look so much better? Right now, it definitely needs some work still. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. I'm just winging this. I mean, it looks like a geode, right? Kind of. This is definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I think that looks a little bit better, maybe. We have these two geodes here, and maybe I will put one more flat to the wall over this way. I honestly have not really done many things with amethyst in Minecraft before. I don't know why it's taken me so long, but I just... I don't know, I just have never done it. I guess I like to play safe sometimes, so I kind of just stick to the blocks that I know how to use. But in this world, I definitely want to get outside of my comfort zone just a bit. You know, maybe not anything crazy, but a little bit would be nice. I think that this geode is going to look a lot better. I just find it easier to do the ones that are flat to a surface, I guess. I mean, I don't think it looks bad, right? It looks kind of cool. But now we pretty much need to lushify this cave. So maybe I should just like spread around some moss on the ground. That would probably be the easiest way to go about it. So we'll just bone meal some moss and spread it around. And I definitely don't want everywhere to be moss. So don't worry, we will definitely have lots of stone in here too but this will be a nice start. Then I definitely want to get in here with some cobblestone, maybe some mossy cobblestone and just texture the walls and the floor a bit. I have went through so many iron pickaxes to mine out this cavern. I definitely can't wait to have a good enchanted diamond tools. And that diamond pickaxe that we made, yeah, it's pretty much about to break. So, I've just been having to use iron. It's definitely feeling more alive, but it needs a lot more work. Of course, we can add lots of mossy cobblestone, and I also have lots of other goodies to add too. And I have this appointed dripstone, and I'm not sure if I want to add it or not, just because, I don't know, it's such a different color 
than the rest of everything in the build. So I'm not sure if it clashes too much. Oh, and do we have ourselves a thunderstorm possibly? It's very dark. I guess we'll find out. But with the dripstone, we can do like this cool thing, you know? So maybe we will add it in bits, but I think whenever they connect, that's so cool. And then we can just have like a little bit sprinkled throughout too. Yeah, maybe just like on the edges like that. They don't necessarily have to be like in the middle or anything, but just like sprinkled around the edges. That's pretty cool. Oh, yep. That is a thunderstorm indeed. Oh, what do we have over there? Uh, three creepers, a zombie, and some fire. I think it's time to go to bed. I'm going to have to get more of this stuff because I love it in here. It looks so cool, doesn't it? Again, I've never built with dripstone before, literally ever. I just like use the same blocks over and over and over again in Minecraft. Love, love that. Oh, and it's dripping? Why is it dripping? I thought there had to be water sources above it for it to do that. And there's no water source there. That's so weird, isn't it? I am really, really starting to like this place. I just love terraforming projects like this. Honestly, they just make me so happy and I just have so much fun doing them. They're just always such a good time and you don't have to build anything, you know? You kind of just work with the land around you. But maybe we'll go ahead and start planting some glow berries just because it's gonna take them a second to grow. So we'll go ahead and plant them now. Oh yeah, and I have some coarse dirt and some rooted dirt and a bit of sand that I need to also use to texture around a bit. Oh, I hear pillagers again. They're like right above me. Why does this always happen? And I guess the rest of them are just like all right here. Let's try to do one of these numbers again. Okay, banner dude is gone. I'm literally so sick of these pillagers. They come all the time and they like spawn right on top of me, I swear. Yeah, but I was just placing my little mossy cobblestone around and then they just started making their little pillager sounds. So annoying. Ooh, I had another idea for a different kind of water pool that we could try. It's definitely looking very good right now and I don't really need to add that much to it, but... What if we add one more water pool somewhere? Kind of running out of space just a little bit. I guess I'm gonna have to get rid of this a bit. But I was thinking that instead of having like a waterfall on the wall, we could just have the water fall straight from the ceiling like this. I think that's kind of cool maybe. You know, we found that projectile protection book earlier and I said that I didn't need it, but maybe I do need it because of these dang pillagers. Now, just a few finishing touches on the inside. We have some spore blossoms and then some small drip leaf. Ooh, lily pads. I want to place just some cute little cherry saplings down and then also some cherry leaves. And then last but not least, we need a few oak leaves. And I've been growing some oak trees over here so that I can take the leaves. I'm so glad that I gathered all of the small drip leaf because I just love small drip leaf so much. It's just so cute, you know, it's just so small. And then of course we have to add a spore blossom, probably like right above the enchantment setup like that. I don't know, is it too much to add another one? I mean, that's a lot of particle effects. I feel like we gotta even it out, you know? Like we added one over there and now we have to add one here. But well, that's so cool, it looks so magical. And then I'm not going to add that many leaves, honestly, just because like, you know, it's already pretty lush in here. To be fair, I don't think I'm gonna really add the cherry blossom leaves. There are so many colors going on in here and I feel like if we add this bright pink, it's just gonna start to be a little bit too much. And we'll place a couple of lily pads around. Lily pad. And then over here, you get a lily pad. Maybe not right there, maybe right here. And then again, I don't think these are gonna grow, but they're still cute. Are there cherry saplings too much? Let me know because it is a little bit busy. I mean, that's definitely the intention, but is it too busy? Let me know what you think. But I would like to actually start making this enchantment it set up now so i've been gathering some leather here and there hopefully i have enough and then of course our automatic sugar cane has been running so we have ourselves 46 pieces of leather also how do we make those chiseled bookshelves are those with bamboo or with regular wood and then can we even use them for an enchantment setup i'm not sure but let's like try to make a little bit of wood maybe. And then let's see if we get the recipe. I don't think so, but what if we strip it, then will we get the recipe? Oh, we got the hanging signs. I need to play some hanging signs. I keep on forgetting to. Okay, what if I make, oh, planks. Let's see now if I get the recipe. Oh, why did I need to make 
bamboo planks in order to unlock the recipe whenever you can just use regular wood. I'm not sure. But can these be used for an enchantment setup? A quick Google search tells me that they can't be used for enchanting, so I'm not going to try that. But let's go ahead and make some little books. Oh, 21? We need a lot more than that. I can't remember exactly how many we need, but I know we need more than that. Oh, we can make 11 bookshelves so far. Okay, that's really close. Let me get the sugarcane in our sugarcane farm. What I had was just the sugarcane I had acquired from our starter sugarcane farm that's still over there that I should probably get rid of. But it's kind of sad getting rid of it, you know? Also, I need to tear down this monstrosity. It's kind of ugly. But we have ourselves, ooh, 60, oh, a stack and a half of sugarcane. That's so good, actually. Whoa, look at it. It looks so cool. We literally have just enough. That's perfect. 15 bookshelves. Now we need to make the enchanting table. So we need some obsidian, a book, and some diamonds. And I think that's it. And there we go. But I want to go ahead and make the enchantment setup goodies that we need, like an anvil and a grindstone. I already have some chests down there. I'll bring my enchanted books down there as well. Oh yeah, and I forgot that we had infinity. That's so cool. All right, let's get rid of this dirt and start placing our enchantment setup. Maybe I should do something a bit fancier than just placing bookshelves. But I honestly don't know what I would do. That's not a chest, that is dirt. Like, how can I elevate this? I don't know, like, I can definitely add some chiseled bookshelves around. I think that would elevate it for sure. But it kind of just looks like an enchantment setup in the middle of a cave, you know? And I guess that's what it is, but... It doesn't really look magical, I guess. It doesn't even really look like it fits in, I don't think. Well, I'll definitely give it a little think, but in the meantime, I would like to try to enchant some things. We are on level 37, which is crazy. So let's see what enchants we can get. We are obviously looking for fortune three for the pickaxe. And then honestly, protection four for their armor. And I'm going to try to be really picky because we don't have an experience farm yet. Like, yes, yeah, some of these enchants are good, but I really want protection four and fortune. I mean, unbreaking is not bad, but if it's just unbreaking, then it'll be so sad. Oh, maybe we'll grab a bow and try to enchant that because we do have infinity. So we have the potential to get a really good bow. Let's see about this bow. I'm breaking three. What is up with all the unbreaking three? I guess we could try to make ourselves maybe a sword. What about this? Uh, knockback two. Trash. What about an axe? Uh, efficiency four. I mean, not bad. That's what I want on an axe, honestly. I mean, might as well just make all of the diamond tools, right? Though I won't make a diamond hoe just yet because I would like to have two diamond pickaxes and we only have four diamonds. Oh my gosh, I forgot lapis. I keep on just forgetting everything. Now, I think that I'm honestly just gonna go for this efficiency four trade. Okay, great, love that. Just efficiency four. And then I'm breaking three on pretty much all the armor and the pickaxe. Like these are literally trash trades. They're so bad. Okay, power four on the bow. I'll go for that. Power four, I'm bringing three. I'll take it. Protection four on the chest plate. Okay, that's so good. And then on the pickaxe, uh, silk touch, but no fortune. I'm going to go for protection four on the chest plate. Protection four, I'm bringing three. Cool. Well, I'm definitely in no rush to enchant all of my gear. So I'm not going to like worry about it too much, honestly. We're just taking it nice and slow, but I do want to put infinity on my bow oh my gosh that rhymed oh my gosh there's literally pillagers again i don't understand why are there always pillagers i've never had pillagers this bad in a world before i mean i have been playing for a while well i guess last but not least we need to do this exterior i don't really have too much of a plan for it honestly uh other than like texturing and kind of like trying to hide it a little bit more. I don't really want it to feel necessarily like a cave entrance. I really want it to be like kind of hidden, you know? So maybe even like take some dirt and like start to piece it back together a little bit. Of course, I don't just have regular dirt though. I have every other kind of dirt you could want, but I don't have regular dirt with me. So I have to go back to my house to get it. Building always just gets so messy by the end. Also, I've composted literally all of my pink petals except these, so I can't get any more bone meal, which is really unfortunate. And what am I even looking for? Dirt, looking for dirt. Also, there's kind of like this little like divot in the land here. 
And I honestly think I'm just going to pretty much fill it all in so it's flat. Should we do that now? We should probably just do that now. Let me go get even more dirt because we're going to need a lot of dirt for that. Should I double dirt? Yes. Do I? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, there's so many of them. There's literally five, nine. There's nine. Is this normal? Is this just like a special 1.20 thing? Let me know. Are you all having this many pillagers around or is it just me? I don't think we're going to double dirt. I mean, it's not like it's a crazy drop if we were to, you know, fall through it or anything for any reason, we would be okay. So we will just regular dirt much better that looks so much better and then we do have this little ravine here so like there's really not much we can do about all of this so i'm just going to leave it for now and then of course we will sprinkle lots of glowberries around the entrance so that it's pretty much completely hidden. So we just get like a little peekaboo inside of the cave. I was thinking about adding some kind of pond, of course, out front, especially since we kind of fill this area in. I think a pond would look really good here. Or honestly, what if we did a build? Not in today's episode, just eventually. I think it could look really cool to have a build here. Kind of like we did with our mine entrance. We have this build here to signify the mine entrance and we could do something like that here too. And then honestly, Honestly, I just need to wait for the glowberries to grow slash try to get more bone meal somehow so that I can get even more glowberries so that I may sprinkle a bunch of them around the entrance. Actually, do I have any more glowberries? Because I thought I got a lot of them. You can literally hear the pillagers and no, I don't think we have any more glowberries. But if you have any other ideas for this little area, definitely let me know. But I think that I'm going to wrap this episode up here and just so you know, I have been pre-recording a whole bunch because my life gets really really busy at the end of July so I'm trying to make sure that I have enough videos for you all to last throughout July. So that being said I cannot get immediate feedback from you all. I'm recording this on the 1st of July and it's not going to go up until like mid-July so unfortunately I won't be able to get all of this feedback from you all. So anytime I ask questions I unfortunately won't be able to actually put it into effect until a really long time. But enough of that. I hope that you all have enjoyed this episode. We've definitely made lots of progress. I have had so much fun in today's episode, but I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.